What's up guys, I'm on the mattress now. I was worrying about the fact that I wouldn't be able to record a good video considering that it sounds my voice sounds really deep right now to me but it's probably because I'm just sleep deprived. And I was going to go to sleep, but I couldn't go to sleep. And there's like a million thoughts in my mind and I can't really resolve them. Number one thought, can't really breathe properly, can I? <laughs> so annoying. Um, you know, my friends were reprimanding me, telling me, which is the title of this video, get your shit together. They're telling me, like, get your shit together, you have me doing this, you have me doing this, they're keeping me super self accountable, and. No, I was offended, I'm the truth, but instead of being overly offended, I decided, yeah, I am going to get my shit together. Like, why the fuck would I not want to get my shit together? I am currently Diamond 2 on Apex Legends after 30, 40, 50 hours of grinding. It has, I need to do the math soon about that, but yeah. I'm assuming 30, 40, 50 hours. I'm going to say 40 hours of grinding. I am. Um, which is quite. It's quite intense. No, it has to be more, no. Maybe 50, 60. No, I think it's 50. I think it's 50 hours of Apex Legends that I have grinded. And I'm thinking to myself. In all this grinding. Like, has it really achieved me anything? No. I'm stuck playing a video game I don't really like that much. I kind of just distracting myself. I'll be the truth. I do enjoy seeing, like, all the streams I've had. I could be to anyone at some point. Be like, yeah, I tried streaming. And I just didn't want to do it anymore. It wasn't for me. But I did do a lot of hours. I put on a lot of hours. And I knew that I always had the hard work ethic to do something great. It was what I like about streaming. My posture is really bad right now. I can really feel. I can, I can, I can really tell you for sure that I really enjoyed streaming. I really did enjoy it. But yeah, beyond that, I have to say, like, I did play too much. And like I don't know what point I was trying to prove I was coping about how many made a video on this. My friends were telling me like, yeah, you haven't really applied for anything in the traineeship, partnership, or etc. 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 Yeah, I agree. And I haven't been reading enough, and I haven't been studying enough, and I haven't been working hard enough, I haven't been exercising enough, I haven't been tip top like I haven't been like fully hard working and everything. Like I think to myself of that quote my mom tells me often and then I don't really listen to it because my mom said it, but then when Hamza said it no, I, listen to, I would listen more to Hamza than my own mother, which is what we come to. But now I'm trying to listen to my mother more. <coughs> Jesus. Is it bad? I'll cover another video. Um, is it bad? I'm gonna watch that later. If it's bad, I'll crop it out. If it's just eh, I'll just leave it in the video, trying to cut. It's disgusting, but yeah, I'm too I'm too lazy to edit. I know it's a quick edit, but like, I'd rather not. I would like to keep this channel as uncut. Jeez, my knees like because the grass yesterday, it's like spotty and stuff, itchy. I don't like that. But other than that, it's pretty okay. Like I got a cut here and there. I don't really care that much. I was okay. I was chilling. Um, yeah, I think to myself, yeah, I really got to get my shit together. Oh, oh my back fucking hurts, man. It's keeping good posture hard. It's like, it puts, it puts a lot of weight on your ass. And it sinks you down. I got a memory mattress for. Let me pull my dress. Oh. I was thinking to myself, like, yeah, I really got to get my shit together. 
I really want to get like super focused in life. I, I don't even have a fucking bed frame, and I actually like it without a bed frame. I'm honest with you, because like if I don't have a bed frame, then I can almost how do I say this? If I don't have a bed frame, I can almost have more space in my room, and I almost feel like I can focus more. This lack of bed frame, it was it was coming to me like for a very very long time, but like now I'm actually doing it. I'm like holy shit, yeah, I don't have a bed frame, bro. I'm kind of feeling. I'm feeling good about myself because not only I have more space to exercise and train, etc. I had a training session yesterday. I, I got no sleep by the way. It's 4 a.m., 4:56 a.m. Just keep happening, and I was on my phone. I admit the truth. But then, even if I wasn't on my phone, I feel like thoughts, like the, these ones, would just pervade my mind constantly. And if I don't have a positive outlet like YouTube video to talk about it, I don't think it will ever go away. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> I know I, I like this idea of a humble lifestyle I like the idea of getting up in the morning and then like put my put my pillow to the side kind of wrapping up my blanket putting it to the side as well organizing like um, a Japanese lifestyle almost putting up my mattress up to have more space and yeah have, have space to train to think med meditate etc etc I really like that you know You know, when I think of individuals that don't have their lives together, a lot of teachers, surprisingly, in the United Kingdom, the UK, God say, our oh, glorious king, right? It's, it's my eyes. <laughs> I think about pe these people, and I think about how broken they are. You know, they're raging alcoholics. They hate children, but they're always around children. They hate teaching children. But they constantly are teaching children. You know, it's just a surprise to that because a lot of teachers, don't, teachers don't even like kids. They do it as some some sort of power play, and then they realize with, with great power comes great responsibility, and they don't like the responsibility. They just want to feel power. It's weird. It's a weird dichotomy. It's a weird dynamic that a lot of kids go through. And I have to say for myself, like going through it was fucking. It was weird, weird in itself. It, it was just. Honestly, it was looking. It was atrocious looking back. It was atrocious looking back. I don't think any of my teachers really liked me that much. Some of them did, but they were more like substitute teachers or they like big children. They had their own small private group. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. Teacher assistant, and then teachers who had their own little group. I, I used to be in a reading club. Some geek shit. But I like reading. Reading was cool. It was not only a good escape to me, but it was also a positive way to learn. And I feel learned. I don't want to say it like that. I I feel as if if I just read the right books, I would be in a bad place by now. But you know, what can I do? I'm not control the future, right? I so many points on the line. I, I know I could have made bad choices. I know I could have made better choices. No. When I reach Masters in Apex Legends, I think, I don't think I'll play anymore. I think I'm done. I don't really want anything else. I'll get the Masters badge, I'll get the Masters trail. There's 50 days plus left to reach it. I know I will reach it. But I don't know if it's completely honestly worth it to reach it. Like, 100k LP is still Masters. I don't know if you need this guys, 100,000 LP is still Masters, it's like 120, 130,000 LP to reach Predator, it is literally impossible, it's impossible, how am I going to reach it, it's impossible, <laughs> so fucking stupid man, I want the badge bro, I want the badge, I want the badge, near and dear. And I want two more badges more so I fill up any other character I have, but like, come on, better fucking choose. 
Because no other badge would look good against with it apart from 21-4K. It is a sweaty badge. It was pretty bad. Like, you, you either just have it by itself. That's it. That's it. That's all you can pray for. Or like any sweaty character you have on. I don't know. They're, 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 they're. You know, the person, one of the persons who reprimanded me, like, I could so easily, I feel like, could just swear back. I could fight back. I could argue back. I could be offended. Like, he, is a, he is a very, very, um, how do you say this? Sensitive person who often find himself offended, and that he went on a huge rant. I know he was fucking bottling the shit up, and I feel like, like he felt some power play over it. But you know, the thing is about this um, criticism from friends, and I don't really consider my friends so much as an acquaintance at this point. You say hi, so. but like he really felt like, oh shit, I'm gonna power that like, whoa, 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 and. I think it really felt powerful doing so. And I just said, like, yeah, thank you very much. You care. Love you, bro. And I killed it with kindness. I killed it with love. But, um, yeah, I have been in the truth. Like, holy shit. I need to get my life together. I saw his death. Like, his death is not here than mine. His life is no, nowhere near as together as mine is. But I still have to get together. Like, how am I going to compare, compare, compare? Hey, look at this person underneath me. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. Why do I look towards someone who's better than me? I think to myself, yeah, I, I'm not in that position. Why do I look towards that 18 year old, to, uh, 20 year old millionaire? I think to myself, why am I not in that position? Why do I not have that obsession? Why do I not have that drive? You know? It's quite annoying to think about. It's quite um, <sighs> exasperating to think about. George Rothman. Uh, you, know, you know what's truly George Rothman? Somewhere out there, like, Iman Gaji at my age. And I'm, I'm closing. I'm closing on this age. I'm, not, I'm effectively no longer seventeen. In like twenty odd something days, I am no longer seventeen. I'm eighteen, ladies and gentlemen. That's over the course of the channel. Like, what the fuck, man? But the I can put the age verification thing for YouTube now, and I'll be eighteen. I put my alcohol and all this other stuff now. It's crazy, man. I always feel like defeated, almost. Like, yeah, you got me. And I'm not the person who would argue back. I mean, not anymore, at least. And because I wouldn't argue back, I'd be like, yeah, suck it up on the cup. Let's just keep going. But yeah, this is, this is not a rare moment of me. On this channel, I always look at it and I'm like, oh. but this time, I'm really like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm fucking tired of this shit, bro. I'm forced to be this like self improvement guru, not guru effectively, a self improvement figure. But I'm not living up to those self improvement figure identity status, and I'm suffering as a result. And it's completely and utterly self induced. If I was doing something that positively affected my life, that made me richer, that made me fitter, that made me more focused, that made me exhausted to the point where, okay, it's 10 p 9 30 p.m. 10 p.m. and I've hit the hay, I've hit the sack, I'm in bed now, I'm so exhausted and tired, I can just fall asleep, snap, within 8, 9, 12 hours, I wake back up, back to work, you know what I'm saying, routine, put the bed there, back to work, something like that, and if I could do something like that, that would obliterate all of my goals, my, my goals, my tasks, that would obliterate everything. And I don't see myself not becoming rich. You know, in the Pillars of Wealth, I don't read the Pillars of Wealth, but I read someone's notes on the Pillars of Wealth, and I really like those notes. I expect his notes. And, um, yeah, they're, they're free online. I don't really find I like the Pillars of Wealth. And, and obviously, like, the way he, he talked is something I need, I need to be talked to like that. Like, I'm, like I'm, a, I'm a guy, I need to be fucking told, be told the hard, true, hard, cold, hard truth. I don't need to be called com told comforting, comforting lies. Because when I do get told comforting lies, I know something's wrong. But when I do get told the truth, my f like my feminine upbringing, single one upbringing, it fucks with me, bro. It tells me that 
Yeah, I should be offended. I should care about my feelings. Like, bro, fuck my feelings, bro. I'm not rich. I'm not like fucking shredded with a six pack. I'm not. Sh I'm not fucking. I, I, I'm still like fifteen percent body fat or something, or like fourteen percent body fat or some shit like that. It, it, so it's hovering within that range. It doesn't matter about the exact percentage. I don't have clear visible abs or nothing like that. I should be like 10, 11, 12 percent. I should be, I should be fitter, I should have more muscle, I know I can have more muscle, I packed on so many, so much muscle on my arms recently, I, when I look in the mirror, I literally see my arms grow, I just do the basic workouts, chin ups, pull ups, neutral good pull ups, something like that, I put in my uh, routine, 8 times 5, motherfucker man, but I'm not doing it to my best ability, like, I'm half assed my workouts, like, I, I do one palm workout, and then there's like six parts. And I look at it, I'm like, and you'd be like, oh, you should reduce your workload. No, 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 no. You never reduce your workload. No, no, no workload. You, you think your task is. You should reduce your task list so you get less workload. But then I'll revert, because I'm intrinsically lazy, bro. I had a feminine upbringing, bro. I'm intrinsically lazy. I'm intrinsically with, tied in with my emotions. And that might help me. With understanding uh, female emotions more, but how does it help me? What uh, a thing? How does feminine energy help me when I'm supposed to be my masculine? It doesn't fucking make sense. The math isn't mathing. The logic isn't logicing. That's just annoying. It's an annoying that cost me to have. Like you know, you can be great. The only thing you really know that stopping you from being great is you. It's the person that looks back at you when you look in the mirror. It's just frustrating, man. You know, I often say the call name mediocre, die mediocre. And I don't say it like unironically. I don't say it ironically. I say it unironically. Oh, I fuck that up. You know, I have to use my two brain cells to push that back together. I don't use that ironically, I use that unironically. Yeah, it's true, if you live mediocre, you would die mediocre. And then you would just die in the nothing. When you look at a graveyard, you know, and you're looking at a graveyard with a friend, maybe, they might mention a famous person who died there. But there's like a million other graves there, you know? No one fucking talks about it. And that's probably going to be me if I don't fucking fix up. You know, it was almost more interesting than that. I, I, this video about me, it's very, very weird. Very weird. Anyways, that's another video. Leave me no comment, leave me no peace.